Okay, this video is discussing the EVAP system. It's an introduction to part of the EVAP system. Um, looking specifically at the and so in this vehicle, and again, 04 Dakota, uh, really easy to find this thing. Um, there it is right there behind the battery, this little guy right here. And in fact, it's, uh, it's even easy to uninstall. So you've got a signal wire here coming from the computer. Whoops, that's the hood release cable. There's the signal wire right there. Um, and so basically the computer sends the signal to this thing to open or to close, okay? This thing uh, needs to be under vacuum. And so when the signal wire says open, then this thing will allow uh, vacuum to pass through itself. Um, so let me pull this off and roll it up a little bit sideways. And hopefully you can see that there's two hoses back on the back side of it here. Um, they don't have quite as much travel as I wish they would, but all things considered, this is still pretty easy to get at. Um, there they are there, okay. There's two, there's two fittings on the bottom of the purge valve, um, hoses that come out of it, two plastic elbows, and then you got two hoses, okay. One of these hoses comes from the intake manifold of the truck, so it's under vacuum. And then the other one comes from the charcoal canister at the back of the truck by the fuel tank. And so the charcoal canister um, has activated carbon inside, which basically readily absorbs unburned hydrocarbons. And in fact, from a chemistry point of view, hydrocarbons like to attach to activated carbon, uh, which is why this technology works. So you got a little container called the charcoal canister full of activated carbon and fumes from the fuel tank and fumes from um, when you're filling at the gas station and you're displacing all of those you know when the tanks empty it's not empty it's full of air and fumes uh, rather than having them all go off at the atmosphere they get collected in the charcoal canister <clears throat> and also when your engine runs for a while and then it stops you'll have some fuel drained back to the to the fuel pump um, there's a couple of different circuits involved but basically your charcoal canister is going to have uh, it's going to have absorbed some fuel um, unburned hydrocarbons so when this system when your engine warms up to the point where it's ready to accept uh, and burn off those unburned hydrocarbons then the computer sends a signal to this purge valve okay in here and it basically opens the valve and all that does picture that you're just taking these two hoses and joining them to each other okay so the one hose that comes from the intake manifold connects to the hose that comes from the charcoal canister so now in the intake uh, manifold and remember that your intake manifold is always under vacuum because you have a series an ongoing series of intake strokes from all the cylinders from all the pistons um, so you got constant vacuum applied to the one side of this thing and then you link it to the other one and basically what it does is it acts like a big drinking straw and it sucks it sucks all of the hydrocarbons out of the charcoal canister and all the hydrocarbons end up being sucked into the intake manifold of the motor and they get burned along with the rest of the incoming air fuel mixture so if you look at motor here there is a, one of these hoses I believe it's this one sorry wrong one this one back here okay uh, which is hard to see but it attaches to the top of the motor let me swing around here without making you too seasick oh my okay this hose right here, okay? Notice on the top that it connects to the intake manifold right up there, okay? And then it runs down and it goes into that big, you know, rabbit hole of stuff down under the motor, but it eventually loops its way back up to the charcoal canister right here. 
and so yeah one of these two hoses is that hose okay? so that's how your purge valve works um, and so when you start your car and you let it run for a moment to warm up um, one of the lights on the dash needs to go out um, and one of the lights is your engine light and one of the circuits that it checks is it checks the purge circuit so it will actually temporarily apply a vacuum to this thing to see if it's working it'll also check and see if it'll hold vacuum because this thing's a valve right it's supposed to be able to open but it's also supposed to be able to close and seal off and so if if the system you know communicates to it and says hey close but we've still got a vacuum applied to it if it leaks if it allows um, pressure past it, that means that it doesn't hold that uh, it doesn't hold itself closed, which means it's going to leak air all the time. So, knowing what you know now about air fuel mixture, if this thing's leaking, then then it's going to allow uh, air and you know once it once once the charcoal canister is empty, um, it's just going to be sucking air, and you're adding air into your intake, and that's unmetered air because it's not going past your mass airflow sensor, and so now you have unmetered air going into your intake by way of that hose way up here. Oh boy, here we go again. If you haven't thrown up by now from seasick, you will. There we go. Okay that hose up there on, that mounts to the silver part of the intake manifold. Um, yeah, so that's a system check that happens. And if that system faults for any reason, then you'll get an engine light. And you'll get a P0 something or other code. And if it says something to do with purge valve, uh, that's your guy.